What's up you guys it's Deep over here and today I'm going to show you how to remove this background that is sky from the tree image over here also if you want to learn how to do such cool things using photoshop then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any time let's get started so this is the tree image whose background i'll be removing now if you want to use the same image to follow along then the download link for this image is in the description below now usually if you want to remove a background from the subject then what we do is select quick selection tool and then using quick selection tool we make the selection of the subject in the image but over here as you can see the leaves are so small over here that quick selection tool won't be able to recognize these things so in order to solve that thing we will follow a different approach in order to remove the background from the tree image over here so for that you need to go to this channel tab now if your photoshop does not contain this channel tab then all you need to do is go to this window option and then select the channels option after that the channel should appear over here Now from the channel tab we need to pick up a channel which will contain a black and white image where the subject portion that is tree over here which will be much darker and the background portion that is sky over here which will be much brighter. So let's start picking up channel one by one. Let's first start with the red. So for that click on that red channel. So now as you can see only the red channel is active but for this red channel as you can see the overall image is looking much grey the tree is not much darker and the sky is not much brighter so now let's pick up another channel that is green channel so now as you can see for this green channel over here the sky is looking much brighter and nice but the tree portion over here is still grey and not much darker so let's pick up another channel that is blue channel So now as you can see for this blue channel the sky is looking much brighter and the tree is also looking darker over here compared to the other two channels. So we will go with this blue channel. So for that let's create a duplicate of this blue channel first. So for that right click on that blue channel option and then select option duplicate channel. After that give any name of your choice. I'm keeping it as blue copy and then click on okay. After that let's unhide this duplicate blue channel by clicking on this check box. and then hide the original blue channel by clicking on the eye icon now for this duplicate blue channel what we need to do is make the dark more darker and the bright more brighter now in order to do that thing go to image and then adjustments and then select option levels now after that in the levels tab move the shadow slider more towards right in order to make the dark more darker stop at a point where it starts to look proper So now this much darkness looks proper to me. Now after that move the highlight slider more towards left in order to make the bright more brighter. Now you have to stop at a point once the sky starts to disappear over here. So as you can see only this much portion is left so let me just move it a little bit. So now as you can see now this is looking proper let me just adjust a shadow slider a little bit. You have to stop at a point where you start to lose much details. So as you can see if I move it more towards right I lose much of the details for the leaf portion over here. Let me just go back. So now this is somewhat looking proper. After that click on okay. Now after that we need to get the selection of this duplicate blue channel which will give us the selection of this tree portion and the grass portion at the bottom over here. Now in order to get that selection all you need to do is press control and click on the icon of this duplicate blue channel. So as you can see once you click on that icon you get the selection of the tree portion and the grass portion at the bottom. Now once you have the selection after that go to the layers tab and then click on add layer mask icon which will create a mask with that of the selection. So as you can see as the tree portion and the grass portion at the bottom was selected it masked out the image with that of that selection. Now let me just explain you something about this mask so for that let me just maximize this tabs. So now for mask as you can see the portion of the mask which is painted with black is not showing up in the final image and the portion of the mask which is painted in white is showing up in the final image. So from this we can conclude that the black color in the mask hides the image and the white color in the mask reveals that image. So now with that concept in mind we want the opposite of this effect to be applied over here that is we want to show up the tree and then hide the sky. Now in order to do that thing we will have to invert that mask so for that press control plus i 
So now as you can see upon the inversion the sky now has the black color and the tree now has the white color. Now let me just minimize this tab and go back to normal. So now as you can see we have removed the background from the tree. Now let's just make our mask perfect. Now in order to view our mask press alt and then click on the mask of this layer which will show you the mask of that layer. So now as you can see for this mask there are some blacks on the whites over here and there is some white on the black portion over here as well. Now in order to correct this mask select brush tool and then set the brush as soft round. After that set the foreground color as white and then paint over the white portion where you can see slight black portion over there. You can increase and decrease the mask using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Now if you want to remove the whites from the blacks then all you need to do is set the foreground color as black and then paint over it. So now as you can see our mask is now looking proper. Now if you again want to go back to the image then all you need to do is press alt and then click on this mask icon. So now as you can see we have perfectly removed the background from the tree over here. Now let me just show it to you by placing some solid color background over here as well. So as you can see we now have made sure that we have correctly removed the background as there are no gaps in the image in between. Now over here you can replace the solid color with a nice background over here. Let me just do that. Download link for this background image is in the description below. After that scale that image and place it properly press shift while scaling in order to scale it evenly. Now after that we need to match the tree with that of the background. Let me just do that. So as you can see we have now added the new background and made the tree match to this new background using some of the layers. So that's it guys hope you guys like this video on how to remove background from trees in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.